hello students through this slides we will be uh, learning how to draw a contour line okay so contour line it is defined as a line joining the points having equal elevations or same elevations so when i say equal elevations see in this mountain the point having the elevation around 3500 meters it is joined together to form a 3500 meter contour likewise 3250 points are joined together to form this 3250 meters contour okay likewise 3000 okay uh, this is called contour lines line joining the points having same elevation now when you see there is a difference between this 3500 and 3250 okay around 250 meters there is a difference here also 250 meters again 250 meters difference is there this difference in elevation okay or the vertical distance between uh, these two contour lines it is called as contour interval okay the vertical distance between two consecutive contour lines it is called as contour interval okay so this slide we will be dealing with characteristics of contour lines uh the first point is all the points in the contour line will have same elevation yeah obvious we have seen in the definition itself uh, in particular contour line all the points will be having the same elevation okay the second point is widely spaced contour lines indicate a flat ground see here the contour interval between two lines is 100 meters when these contour lines are spaced wide in a wider manner okay it is indicating a flat ground okay it is a flat ground or we can say there is a gentle slope okay when the contour lines are closely spaced the same 100 meter interval is there but it is closely spaced it is indicating a steep slope okay there is a steep slope sudden fall or sudden rise may be there okay then here you can see the 500 meter contour line is here and there is a 400 meter it is there so the flow will be from higher elevation to lower elevation so 500 to 400 the flow will be there okay flow of water or any any substances which is freely flowing will be from 500 meter to 400 meter okay that is higher elevation to lower elevation the next one is uh, the series of contour lines with higher values inside see in this image the higher values 80 it is located inside and 60 is located outside okay so the smallest circle is 80 meter contour and the biggest one is 60 meter contour it is indicating a hill or summit okay or a mountain okay like that it is indicating see here 3500 it is inside and 2000 is outside so this is a hill okay the next one is uh, the depression okay we can see depression how a depression will be there the smallest value will be inside the smallest circle is indicating a a smallest circle will have smallest value of elevation that is 60 meter the largest circle outside will be having the highest elevation value this is indicating a depression okay it is a depression see here 1600 is inside and 1700 is outside okay so smallest is inside largest is outside this is a depression okay so last one is cliff uh, so the generally contour lines will not cross one another okay uh, in previous images also we have seen the contour lines will not cross one another so it will be here uh, in cliff alone in overhanging cliff alone the contour lines will be overlapping okay see here this is a cliff and uh, the cliff contour lines here it is shown in yellow color this alone it will be overlapping okay other cases and all there won't be any uh, merging of contour lines okay this is also one of the characteristics so now we can see an example problem how to draw a contour line how to draw a contour line 
so this is the problem these points are all elevation points okay 99 meter 101 meter 103 meter or elevations at different locations okay so this may be a b c d e like that okay this may be different points and at those points we have taken elevation with the help of dumpy level or uh, any leveling equipments we have taken the levels okay this is 99 meter 102 101 meter 102 meter here likewise we have taken the elevations okay so now i am uh, the problem is to draw a contour line of 100 meters draw a contour line of 100 meters so 100 meters uh, it is not seen here okay the value 100 it is not seen here so now how to find that value we can see the first step is to identify where 100 meter points are located okay so between 99 and 102 there will be 100 right so somewhere here the 100 will be located 100 meter elevation will be located then between 99 and 101 between 99 and 101 again 100 is there so again here also there is there will be a 100 meter location point okay these uh, these two points are 100 meter points this is the first step we have to do we have to identify where 100 meter points are located okay Second the next step is to connect the respective points to get contour lines so i am connecting this 100 meter and this 100 meter point to get 100 meter contour line okay similarly if i want to get a 1 or 2 meter contour line uh here 1 or 2 is here 1 or 2 is here then between 1 or 1 and 1 or 3 there will be a point 1 or 2 here somewhere okay when i connect all those 1 or 2 points we will be getting 1 uh, or 2 meter contour lines okay so likewise you try the problem which i have given and if you have any doubts you can ask me okay thank you